16-year-old Nicole Miller traveled to Dana Point, California to spend Christmas with her father Wayne and his fiancée Susie Breedlove. During her stay, Nicole came down with the flu and could not seem to get over it. On December 28th, before she went to bed, everyone agreed that she'd go to the doctor as soon as she got up the next morning. Nikki really didn't feel good. She didn't want to keep her sister up sleeping in the bedroom. She's in the hospital tomorrow. Love you. She had taken some liquid night cold medication, and that really knocked her out, which we were happy for because she needed the sleep. Before Wayne could even, like, decide where it had come from, I was already up, put my robe on, and had ran out to the living room. Oh, my God. Oh As my God. eyes focused, the walls were covered with blood. Here. She was just profusely bleeding. Fire department. <gasps> my stepdaughter can't breathe. What address? There's a hole in her chest. What address is she at? 30. Orange County Fire Dispatcher Lori Fenimore took the call. I knew we were going to have to start CPR on her um, and was about to begin to walk the caller through CPR over the telephone when the patient began to breathe on her own. Okay, she's not breathing at all. No. Are you sure? Lay her flat on the floor. Yeah, get her flat on her back on the floor. Okay, how old is she? She's 17. Okay. Wait, just drag her over here. Keep going, you've got her. You're okay. Okay, we're all right, sweetie. She's oh. bleeding to death. I remember losing it saying, oh my God, not Nikki. Please, not Nikki. Oh my okay. God. I have the paramedics on the way. Okay. Someone I could hear some, some screaming in the background, but the caller was very calm. Oh, put, honey, go get a towel, put pressure on her. Nikki, keep breathing. I thought I had a, was on the point of losing her. And that was the biggest fear of my life, was losing all my children. We need to do is get a towel we are. and apply direct pressure to the wound, okay? okay? Obviously, the person on the other end of the phone was just a step ahead of me, which is good because it was such a serious call. Okay. It's arterial. It is arterial. Okay. She said that it was arterial, which means that it's spurting blood from the artery every time the heart pumps. There's quite a danger of someone bleeding to death before we could get there to help them um, if the bleeding isn't stopped. Keep breathing. You're okay. Come on, Nikki. Come on, honey. Breathe. You're okay, Daddy. Go get some pants on, Wayne. Nikki, breathe. Okay, sweetheart, it is arterial. I can just feel it pumping out. Okay. Because of how it was bleeding, I wanted them to know the severity of it. But I had just decided right then, I will not let you die. Oh, my God. Okay, she's still, die? Is she still breathing? Yeah, Nikki, you still breathing, honey? Okay. You're fine, sweetheart. You just cut your neck a little. You're all right. Oh, my God. It was hard because I was so afraid that Nikki was going to catch on to the severity of what was going on. Okay. Why don't we, if you, if you can, without making the bleeding any worse, yeah. why don't you go ahead and elevate her legs and feet a little bit and try to... Wayne, elevate her legs for me, please. I was grabbing the pillows off of the couch to elevate her legs and at that time also noticing how much blood again she had lost. Oh, she's come back. Is there yeah, I thought she was gone. I was so afraid. Okay, how's she doing now? She's fine. She's resting. Her eyes are closed. Okay, you okay, good. Nick? Okay. You just lay there. You're doing a really good job at staying calm and keeping everybody else calm. Well, it's amazing. Had she not maintained direct pressure on the wound, in the time it took the paramedics to respond to drive there, the daughter would have bled to death.
Within seven minutes, paramedic Skip Hawkins and his partner arrived. We walk through the door, we see blood literally everywhere. Uh, you don't expect to see this kind of scenario underneath a Christmas tree. Okay, we're going to take a look at it. Next paramedic day. Eric Leverance was treating the wound. My concern was when I opened it up to take a look at it, was I going to let air into the vessel, which would cause an air embolism. And once the ambulance got there, we wanted to get going. At Mission Hospital Regional Medical Center, 18-year-old Nicole Miller was immediately rushed into surgery. Drama surgeon Kenneth Kushner performed the delicate operation. Nicole has sustained a major laceration of the internal jugular vein. It is a very high flow vein, and clearly, if it's allowed to continue to keep bleeding, the patient can hemorrhage severely. Let's see what we got when we get in there. Okay. Oh, I'm scared to death, hoping everything is going to go all right. Okay. Scared to death, because she had lost so much blood. Okay, Both of us started crying again, not knowing what was going on. With the big fear that someone's going to come and say she didn't make it. Although Nicole suffered massive blood loss, amazingly, within two months, she had fully recovered. Nikki goes, I don't care how bad the scar looks, I'm glad to be alive. And we all started crying. It wasn't a minor call, but it was a relatively easy procedure to do that saved her life. I mean, anybody can learn how to do direct pressure. If you just learn the basics, it helps uh, the emergency personnel tremendously. They can attribute them having a living daughter to these basic skills that they had learned and remembered and acted upon. Because if you can save your own child's life, that is the best gift of all. It's okay. We were close before this ever happened, but it's brought us a lot closer in a lot of ways. My dad, he's the greatest guy I know. He's always there. And he really shows his love and that he cares. Let's heal up real fast. How do you express to someone how much you love her? Just show it daily. Susie's a very wonderful person. She's perfect for my dad. She'll make our family very happy. I mean, she already has. Susie's. There's not enough words to say how wonderful of a person she is curious to know what happened it's just if i feel it was a miracle that she's here i don't really say that to her i think we've proven we can make it through anything and we will